So I would request the main speaker to really spell for the audience and for the media what could be their best agenda for the betterment of the community when the community is known all over the globe what is Sikhism, what are their reporters. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you uh, uh, for your question. And uh, that's how Sikhlands was formed. All the things uh, what you have mentioned. And our thing has been to create Sikh stories in the digital space so that we can uh, take them out globally. We can talk about Sikh culture, heritage, our religion, beautiful religion, and through the films. And uh, we have produced hundreds and hundreds of these uh, films through our scholarship program. And we are also creating, inspiring the youth to get into media, broadcast, journalism, and films. Because there has been a lot of push. I am a product of technology. When I was growing up in our household, you could only do two things in life, medicine or engineering. If I would have gone to my dad and said after high school, hey, listen, I want to get into films or media, he would have had a heart attack and died right in front of me. You know, so <laughs> it's like, so how do you change that uh, perspective? Same is with my uh, wife. She's a computer engineer computer science uh, person and uh, in their household it was the same and here also Ojaswi who in his previous life became an engineer and then uh, decided that okay his parents were happy with uh, what they wanted him to do but then he says okay now dad let me do what I love and he made some beautiful beautiful films uh, for uh, He's beautiful from every yeah I know that I know yeah, like his admitted film and his uh, Rub the Awaz, I don't know if you guys saw that film, it will bring tears, you know, like such a emo human, emotional story. So regarding your question, we have done the Uprala and uh, you know this young lad behind you, he asked what are the challenges? Well, challenges are this programming requires a lot of funding, a lot of funding. And there are no institutional help for this. But as my <coughs> wife, Gurpreet, said that, you know, Biggie doesn't take no for an answer. And that is true. You know, I will find uh, ways to make, and I am trying to inspire our community here to let their children get into AI, augmented reality, virtual reality. And that's why we are working with Ujaswi uh, this year, starting those kind of boot camps starting those master classes where kids can come in and join and talk about and learn about these stories. So first of all, when we talk about Sikhi, Sikhi is a very, it's a community religion, congregational, satsangat, but it is also an individual journey. We are each responsible for our own Sikhi. It, and it is a blessing. It's Vaigvijji di meher hai gya. Sikhi tode zindagi vich aave. That is Vaigvijji di meher. That might come at a young age, it might come much later. I know I got it in my 40s. Mm -hmm. But I grew up in a Sikh household, but you learn along the way. So first of all, Sikhi has to start with us individually in our hearts, in our lives. Then you can tell people about it. And what we have done is we've gone into Punjabi schools. The Digital Voice program is mostly Punjabi school children who are in the diaspora who are learning Sikh values, Gur Sikhi, Gur Mukhi, Kirtan, and then you're also teaching them this. And they will ultimately do beautiful films on Seva, Nirbhor, Nirved, the Sikh themes. They will actually find a way to represent them and show those. And then the same thing is when we have our scholarship program at Chapman, <coughs> where the students are doing a one and a half year course on Project S, Project Sikhi, and they are doing Sikh related themes and they're traveling all over the world and they're finding Sikhs who they can showcase. And most of these are positive images of Sikhs and show how they live and worship. Being a Sikh is not a one-time, that is not Sikhi. Sikhi is when you practice your faith 24-7, it's who you are and how you live your life. And that when you showcase that and show those and show those six stories across the diaspora because they see the beauty and the value in it. They see the principles and they have a resonance with that. And when you show stories like that, you're not, you are 
already teaching people about what Sikhism is without uh, beating a drum when you show these stories. And so that is what we are trying to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.